Are you living your dream life? There are so many different phrases, questions, statements that we can say as a conscious creator. But one of the simplest ones is, you're living your dream life. And it could be, why am I living my dream life? Thank you, I'm living my dream life. Think about it. Neville Goddard said, isn't it wonderful? And I say, why are you living your dream life? Your dream life encompasses everything that you want in your life. It is your ideal partner, your job, the car you drive, the house, your, the apartment you live in. If you want to live in the country, on the beach, in, you know, in the city, how much money you have in your bank account, your dream life allows you to do whatever it is that you desire. So think about this really long and hard. If you could only say one phrase all day long, what phrase is it you're going to be saying? Literally, what phrase is it going to be? Put it in the comments below and tell me what that phrase is going to be. Because that phrase that you say determines how your life is going to roll. And being that I have known my ex-husband my entire life, he is a narcissist, I learned that you have to speak out loud to be able to get your reality into your reality. And you don't have to be positive. You don't have to believe it. You don't have to clean up your stuff. You just have to keep saying it because that is what toxic people do. And then eventually we believe what they say. So if you pick a phrase, a question or a statement and you were to say that phrase for months and months on end, what do you think is gonna happen to your life? They're doing construction across the street again. Sorry guys, so if you're beeping, it's not me, it's the crew. What is your phrase that you're going to say? Because that phrase is gonna determine whether or not you get your happily ever after. Let's get a little bit more in depth with this, but first, this is Susie, your beautiful swan queen. Welcome to Discover Your Inner Royalty with the King's Incredible Daughter. I am the best life coach with a 99.6% success rate in helping people get together with the love of their life. When you're ready to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, join my paid Facebook group, upscale your money, or buy t-shirts from my daughter and her bestie. Those links are in the description below. You guys are tired of me talking about negative stories, so anytime somebody says something about a negative story, I'm going to give you the link to my program. Go buy it. The clarity, the freedom you are going to get from discovering your inner royalty program is going to drastically change your life for the better, so go buy it. And free yourself from those negative stories. Your dream life, what does it consist of? Does it consist of so much money in your bank account, married to the specific person, what kind of car you're driving? This requires a little bit of homework if you just wanna use this one phrase to drastically change your life for the better, to get everything you want. And here's the beauty of it. If you're just walking around saying, I'm living my dream life, when your dreams change, your life will automatically change to match your new dreams. You want to be in a different reality. Figure out what that reality looks like. What does your body look like? What does your hair look like? What does your skin look like? What does, again, who are you married to? How much money do you have? What kind of car do you drive? Do you have children? Make it realistic. So if you have kids or your specific person has kids and you're trying to undo your specific person's kids, this isn't the channel for you. I'm sorry. I mean, I never heard anybody succeed in that and I've been manifesting since 1982. And I've never heard anybody succeed in manifesting away somebody's children. And you know that person that you're trying to manifest their children away from them? They're not gonna like that. They're not gonna wanna be with you. So you might get them, but it's gonna be a toxic relationship and it's gonna be up and down and hot and cold to keep them. So come from a place of kindness. Do unto others as you would have done unto yourself. That is what I was preached from the time I was born. Do unto others as you'd have done unto yourself. Do you want somebody to take away your children? Don't take away somebody else's. 
Do you want something to happen to somebody else's spouse? What happens if you do that and you get this? Like, be kind. Manifesting works either way, good or bad. And I'm the only life coach that I've ever heard say that. If you want to manifest this person leaving somebody, you know, I don't care. That's your judgment, your responsibility, and you are going to have to deal with that for the rest of your life. And how do you face that person if they find out you did this? Because you know us keyboard warriors out there, they like to tap, 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 tap. And they find your dummy accounts. When you are living your dream life, it just has this ease. It has this flow. You have this joy. You have time to explore. You can feel like you're on vacation and working part-time and making double your full-time income. So again, this does require work. Get out that piece of paper. Get out that pen. Make a column. What does your day-to-day -day life look like? Uh-uh, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what kind of job do you have? What kind of partnership do you have? What kind of bank balance do you have? What kind of car you drive? What kind of house do you live in? Get this all detailed down. How many children do you want to have? If you and your specific person both have children, how are you blending your families together? You're not writing a novel, but you're writing something about each topic. So you've already done the topic on how your specific person is supposed to treat you. You can take that from my new love video and add it to this list. Well, my, my specific person treats me the way I've written it down. So now you have two simple things. You've written it down. So you walk around and you literally say, I'm living my dream life. I am literally re living my dream life. I wrote my dream life out and now I'm living my dream life. My dream life consists of working part-time, making really good money, helping you guys to drastically change your life for the better. And there's a debate on coaches and paying coaches, Neville Charged. There's a pinned post in my free group on Facebook, which shows that Neville Charged. He also charged for his little books. Neville didn't do this for free. He may have helped some people for free, but he charged. You're not paying me for the information. You're not paying any coach for the information. You're paying the coach to teach you how to implement it. So if a teacher is teaching your children or you're going to school and you're learning, they're getting paid, coaches should get paid. But you go to a coach and a coach tells you to write it out, do it because this is the other side of your comfort zone. I don't care which technique you pick, this technique is gonna be one you do for the rest of your life. So if you wanna do just your marriage, you can do happily married, but this is your life, your entire life. And I want you to dial into that happy meter and turn it all the way up because that's what truly gives you a life. If you're not enjoying the journey to be with the love of your life, if you're not enjoying the journey to get the job, the car, then you're not enjoying life. And you know, the Briggs, what is it? The Briggs Myers test where they test you to see, I think that's what it's called, but it tells you whether or not you, uh, what your personality type is. I'm an INFJ. INFJs are typically people who hate people. We are judgy. We are very kind and giving. We hate people, but we help people. And then an INFJ will sit there and give you the extra because we're kind of people pleasers. And then at the end of the day, we don't want to be around anybody. We want the doors to be closed and we want to shut off the world so we can go back to our hidden side. That side that, you know, we get to relax, we get to see, we don't have to put on I love you, I hate you, heirs. And the thing is, because of that gift that I have and my genius IQ and the fact that I do think every problem can be solved. There is a movie with Chris Evans, Gifted. It's a little girl who is a mathematical genius. All of those problems in that movie can be solved. The millennial problems as they were dubbed. When you have this solution-based mindset and people come to you for help, you find an easy way to solve the problem. The thing is, 
even when I'm talking to my friends, I'm in solving a problem mode. I hold that staff of peace. And the peace is between you and your past. So if you were abused, you have trauma, you have chaos, living your dream life and then putting the word always in there. I'm always living my dream life. Why am I always living my dream life? You know, always living my best life. Like these phrases will revise. So you don't have to dig into the past and go to this specific incident. Let's talk about a specific incident. Uh, my stepfather laying a motorcycle on the side of the road. Granted, I wasn't where I was supposed to be, but the punishment I got was way excessive for the crime. Like way excessive for the crime. And that's the last time I've been on a motorcycle, literally laid sideways. My face was inches off the pavement. If I had to go back to every incident like that, I would be a basket case. So instead, I teach you how to do simple techniques like living my dream life, happily married, so that you can undo all that damage without going back and having to revisit it. I no longer dumpster dive because dumpster diving is painful. So I'll trace you your pain and I will give you joy. And then I will take that joy and I will magnify that joy times a hundred. And I will lock that joy in so you no longer feel that pain. But I dissolve it by taking it away and giving you something that feels good. Not everybody wants something that feels good. Some people just want the pain to go away. And we can do that. But in order to do that, you have to take a simple technique that most people are going to dismiss. Always living my dream life. Why am I always living my dream life? How am I living my dream life? Isn't it wonderful I'm living my dream life? You know what it is. And then you can thank the universe. Thank you, universe, for allowing me to be able to live my dream life. Thank you for gifting me my dream life. And you just keep saying it. Because you're a conscious creator and you have to continue to say this because if you stop and it hasn't made that mental shift in your body, your neural pathways have grown and they've gotten really, really big out here. And your focus is on living your dream life. But when you stop saying that and you start seeing something else, the dream life pathways start shrinking. And within a week, they're less than half. Within a month, your dream life is gone. It's completely gone. Your neural pathways are no longer wired for that. So you have to use your conscious, your frontal cortex, you have to use your conscious by bringing up things from your reticular activating system that is searching your brain, your subconscious, your memories. It's all memories, guys. The beginning of this video is a memory. The end of this video is the future. So you're bringing up memories to back up what you are creating. So if you're saying my dream life, I'm living my dream life, I'm living my dream life, I've always been living my dream life, I live a charmed life. That simple phrase. So you're saying it over and over and over again. Your memories that are gonna come up are going to be memories of good things that give you extra reasons why you're living your dream life. And then if you continue to say it, you're going to do this. So it is 2023 and my ex still says, since 1999, the business makes $100 a day. He doesn't even run the business. My son says it's more like $500 a day. What do you want your dream life to look like? Because when you start talking about it and you start speaking it out loud, and I'm a big advocate of this, speak it out loud. I don't care how loud the voice is in your head. You have to silence the voice in your head. You have to talk over it. That voice in your head is somebody else telling you how your life should have was. It is your parents 
telling you you're not worthy of it you're not deserving of it it is saying that it's because of the way you dress is you're not smart because you didn't pass some test i have a genius iq but when it comes to mixing chemicals together and then taking the chemicals apart my brain doesn't grasp it that's okay but it grasps math really good once I learn how to mix those chemicals and take them apart, there's an unlimited amount of chemicals I can pull apart. If I learn one foreign language within years, I'll be speaking 30. Because once I learn it, I can duplicate it over and over again. But there are two types of minds. There is the Chatty Kathy and there's the silent Susie. Chatty Kathy can sometimes be positive, sometimes negative. Silent Susie is neither because there are no thoughts. Chatty Kathy can have a very loud internal voice that talks to you. Silent Susie, I have no internal voice. Some people may have a silent mind and an internal voice. I don't. So if I'm not affirming out loud, how do I hear it? And for those of you who are gonna go, how does a deaf person hear? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I've never actually spoken to one to be able to ask those questions. So if you are deaf and you are watching this on closed caption, answer the question. What do you hear inside of your mind? Because people are going to go, well, they're deaf, you can't hear, period. So does that mean it's silent? There's no internal mind, internal voice? What does it mean? But if you're worried about a deaf person, instead of worrying about your own mind, are you helping yourself? Or are you focusing on how they think and feel? When a tree falls in the woods, it makes a noise. It's irrelevant if you can hear it or not. It still makes a noise. The wind last night, it was raining really bad and the trees were blowing and things on the, my chimes on the balcony were blowing. They were making a noise. A deaf person wouldn't hear it, but it would still be making a noise. Think about what you desire because not everything in life is perfect. And instead of worrying about whether or not they can, why don't you, you know, be like, hey, the solution was found so deaf people can hear again. A solution was found so blind people can see again. A solution was found so spinal cord injuries can be repaired and people are no longer in a wheelchair. Instead of focusing on what they can't do, focus on raising them up. Because by raising people up, you're raising yourself up. So if you're focused on the negative, you're gonna come down. But if you're focused on raising them up, oh, well that deaf person has a wonderful internal voice. They might not be able to hear my words, but you know, they're hearing it like angels singing in their head. When, I, when my lips move and they can read lips, it's like the angels are singing in their head. It's beautiful, it's amazing, it's wonderful. They're in this whole little cocoon. What you think about grows, but don't take the responsibilities of the world on your shoulder, because let me tell you, it's too much. To be told constantly, you created this, you did this, you it's your fault, I, I hate everyone as you pushed out, because that means you created being abused from the time you were born, you created being assaulted, you created a trauma, you created the R word, you created somebody you love getting hurt, an accident, it's too much. That's going to weigh on your mental and your mental diet can't handle that. If consciousness is my only reality and consciousness is your only reality, then Ours may not match up. So instead, just be thankful everybody's living their dream life. Be, be so thankful everybody's living their dream life. 
because when their consciousness touches your consciousness, you're going to feel good about it. And you're going to run into more like-minded people because if you're living your dream life and this person is living their dream life, you're raising them up. You see somebody out on the street, they're not doing so well. Be like, you know, the next time I see them, they're going to be doing better. And you see them and you notice they're a little cleaner. The next time you see them, they're doing, oh, they're going to be in better yet. I'm, they're going to be better yet. I'm raising them up. I'm bringing them up. We're, we're going to go to the highest level, the highest reality, the highest vibration. Energy can be transmuted. Words are energy in motion. Your vocal cords use energy and sound. You speak it all day long anyways, good and bad. So to change your life, try a simple technique. The easier it is, the easy, easier the phrase is, the easier it is to do. The swan technique, it revises, it projects, it goes to the end, it gives you the now, and it, I mean, it cleans up the past, it projects into the future, it puts you in the now. It gives you all that in one technique. But you guys say the question is too long. Why are you absolutely, why do you instantly feel absolutely positively amazing to be living your dream life, knowing things are different? And right now, life is beyond amazing because Susie said so. That's going to revise everything in your life without having to dumpster dive. It's not that hard to say because you're saying 70 different phrases a day anyways. And I'm just trying to simplify it. One phrase set on repeat throughout the day that you can even tell people because the swan technique can be, you know, I have an absolutely incredible life. I'm living the dream. I live a charmed life. And then you ask the question when there's bumps in the road and you answer it so there is no doubt and it helps you through those bumps in the road. Try something unique and simple. This is outside of your comfort zone and everything you want is outside of your comfort zone. Think about that. It is outside of your comfort zone. If you've gotten this far in the video, Jason made the post, his friend Travis is cured. If you'd like to help save somebody's life or there's other ways you can help, feedthematch.org. You're absolutely positively amazing, my beautiful duckling. Leave me a comment, let me know how I am drastically changing your life for the better. Have an absolutely positively amazing day.